what to condemn the person. Okay, I've spoken to you. You will not hear. So just know that you will go to hell. Hell. That's where you are going. You 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 will die. Your family will die. If I believe what your family will follow. Praise God. You are not going to talk like that. You are when you do that, you have shut the door and you have lost one thing. The scripture called long suffering. You lost it. A lot of people have lost it by not giving themselves to long suffering. The attitude of long suffering. I told you another word for long suffering is patience. What did I call it? Patience. Now listen. Uh, what's the name of this man who went in the belly of fish? Noah. Uh, sorry, Jonah. Praise God. Preaching has been going on. That guy was lacking long suffering. Yes, sir. But God, who had long suffering, he said, Go and preach today. God, do we are the one we have been preaching since we got. They are not listening, they are sons of Belial. God, let me tell you what you need to do just rain hailstone, fire, big, big stone that can pound them and grind them, just kill everybody. Every, every boy, man, every and all the animal, kill them. They are useless people, they, are not, they don't want to listen to them. The disciples they said, Lord Jesus, we, we we these people did not receive us. Shall we call fire down? Just like that guy did Elias. To, to, let, let's kill all of them. Christians. These are Christians. That one is a prophet. Praise God. But God, who exercises long suffering, he said, No, go again. Tell your neighbor, go again. Oh, look at that neighbor with love. Say, I beg, go again. Hallelujah. It's a size long suffering. Go again. It's all right. And the person talk one thing. Go again. Go again. And you don't want to talk to that person again. Ah, ah. The spirit of God is telling you, talk to the person again. Hey, but he will say the same thing. Ah, go again. Go in the spirit. In my spirit. Praise God. Hallelujah. Go again. The guy refused until God said, I will put you in a circumstance. Say with me, circumstance. I will put you inside a circumstance after you have repented. Then I will vomit you inside the place I told you to do. And then you must preach then. And God just put him inside his stomach of fish for some days. When he could not move, his brain was rested. He now understood that it was God that was God who made him that was talking to him. All the thing that is boiling inside him. The Bible says in the book of Jeremiah, that, you know, the soul that sinner shall die. You know, he just said, Okay, okay, mercy God. Even me, self, I'm not even good. Praise God. <laughs> me, self, I know him, maybe I'm a man, I'm not good. Praise God. I'm not just good. Yeah, this way I want to kill them. Me, too, I'm supposed to die now. God have mercy. God said, hey, your head don't correct. Praise God. And now send the fish to go and vomit him to the place where he says go and preach. Go again. Tell your neighbor, go again. Tell your neighbor, don't let God put you inside fish. Oh. Don't let God put you inside fish. That was God's mercy for Jonah. Put him inside fish. Circumstance. Where his head has to be correct. And the Bible says, as soon as he went to go and preach, stressless preaching, the whole city is repented. The whole city. I've never heard that kind of a thing before. The whole city repented. Those were the same cities that he wanted that they should be destroyed. So the long suffering of God Almighty saved them all. Perhaps the reason why people are not being saved in your hands today is because you don't exercise long suffering. Let's not be quick to condemn. Let's not be quick to give up on people. That this one cannot be good. This one, yeah, no, forget it. Don't do that. Because what if it becomes good? Praise God. Praise God. Look at 2 Timothy chapter 4. Mm -hmm. 2 Timothy chapter 4. And verse 2. Second Timothy chapter 4 and verse 2. He said, preach the word. Say with me, preach the word. Preach 
preach the word, be instant in season and out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort. You see it? It says exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. You must add long suffering inside the matter. Don't close people's chapter because God has not closed your chapter. Amen. 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 Don't close people's chapter because God has not closed your own chapter. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What did I just say, sirs? He has not closed your own, so don't close people's chapter. Don't say it can't be good. Don't say not forever. Yeah, no, 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 just put it aside. No, it's not like that. If you feel it is closed, don't you think that God can open a case that is closed? If you think it is closed, don't you think God can open a case that is already closed? Because with God, all things are what? Uh -huh. But not with man. So when we speak as a man, when people speak to you as a man, understand they are speaking to you as a man, but answer them as a spirit man. And tell them, God can still do it all. That is why we must keep hope alive. Amen. Keep hope. Don't let hope die. Keep hope alive that it can still be good. You know our daddy in the Lord, Pastor Iyadibui, our daddy, he always say, I know my tomorrow will be better than today. It's a simple statement, but a powerful one. I know that my tomorrow is going to be great. I know my, you know, that is keeping hope alive. No matter what is happening now, my tomorrow will be better. And you will see tomorrow and beyond in Jesus' name. So we exalt with long suffering. That is with patience and with endurance. You know, because, you know, long suffering has to do with, to me, it looks like an inner character. You see, if you lack patience, the way you will be talking to the person, the way you will be talking with the person, the person doesn't want to hear you. The person will think that you came to fight, not to talk. The person will see you coming with an attitude that will make your word to kick. Praise God. But if you have long suffering, you will be in line with the spirit of love. That is one of the fruit. And the way you will be saying those things, it will be so, it will be as if you are pleading for the person. You know too much to plead that the person should take hold of life, not to lose life. Not to be strong. You see, let me tell you, 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 you like what did they do? Your word will just be kicking. Long suffering is a spiritual attitude towards the world. Jesus, God's attitude to the world includes long suffering. He, he, he doesn't want to keep up for man. If he wants to kill the whole world, one day he can do it. Praise God. But that long suffering is still working today. You check your own life now. You know yourself now. Tell anybody you know yourself now. Uh, you know, if somebody is supposed to die, you should die. He should have killed you a long time ago. But you are still here and he's still loving you. That's long suffering. Praise God. Let me even show you that scripture. Let me show you this scripture. It will bless you. First Peter chapter 3 and verse 18. I told you about the ark, but look at it now. First Peter chapter 3 and verse 18 to 20. He said. Watch, listen to the words. First Peter 3, 18 to 20. He said, For Christ also had once suffered for sin, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit. Quickened by what? By the Spirit. By which also he went and preached unto the spirits in the prison. Hello, look up here. Look up here. Have you ever seen spirit inside prison? Huh? <laughs> Praise God. He was seeing men as spirit because men, I told you, is their essentially spirit. But the question is, what kind of spirit? So he saw himself as a spirit going to preach to spirits, encountering other spirits. Look at what he said. He said, which sometimes were disobedient, these spirits, 
they were disobedient when once the long suffering of God waited in the days of Noah Hallelujah. while the ark was a preparing that is when he was in preparation wherein few that is eight souls were saved by water that's why I told you that the ark that Noah God told Noah to build was an expression of the long suffering of God to save souls hallelujah and they were in that circumstance in that particular boat for quite a while that's why I say God can put you in a circumstance just for you to rest just stay there what is outside there is death stay here you know when an arm robber is attacking people and you are able to escape anywhere you hide is comfortable for that time whether on a trio inside a shackle whether it's inside it's okay well, as long as you bend down there it's okay for now because outside there is death so you will wait there. If it was inside soccer way, you will just bear this. The some of you, when somebody just fat, one kind dangerous fat, you will shake it. Hey, oh, oh, oh. uh, then you leave the place because uh, other place is there to go. But when God puts you in a situation, <laughs> even if it is inside shit, you will say you will even think about this man. Oh, All you are thinking is a. Uh, Safety. 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 Praise God. Safety. And you will remain there until daybreak. Yes. Yes. After daybreak, you will be cautious to come outside to be sure. It is when you came out and you have been safe. You see, see I just did smell safe. You didn't smell this smell before. Praise God. You didn't smell this smell before. It's about life. And Jesus Christ came to give life in abundance. Praise God. It is the, he is the spirit of life. We talked about it today. The spirit of life. In Christ Jesus. That's what Romans said. The spirit of the, the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So long suffering is, is in God. It's in our Lord Jesus Christ. It should be in you. You need it for your safety. For your life. Long suffering is one of the things God has given you an eye for longevity of life so that we can live long. If you don't have long suffering, you may not live long. It takes long suffering to live long. Hello. It takes what? Long suffering to live long. Be patient, relax. I got your back. I got what? That's what God is saying. Well, this afternoon, let's leave that one and go to the other one, gentleness. Praise God. Do we understand about long suffering now? Let's check gentleness. Let me first tell your neighbor for me, be gentle. Oh. I didn't say tell yourself. Tell your neighbor, be gentle. Oh. <laughs> it is the fruit of the spirit. Gentleness. I will tell your neighbor again, be gentle. You know, you have to be gentle in thought, in words, and in deeds. So important. It is even in God's character, gentleness. Praise the Lord. Let's look at Second Corinthians. You know, Apostle Paul's letter to the Corinthians uh, state in 2 Corinthians 10 verse 11. 2 Corinthians 10 11. He said, Now I, Paul, myself beseech you by the meekness and gentleness of who? Are you there? 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 1. Are you there? Are you there? Are you still looking for first? Are you still looking for it? If you are there, shout hallelujah. Okay. Now I, Paul, myself beseech you by the meekness and gentleness of who? Of Christ. Who in present and base among you, but being absent and both towards you. Look at it. He said gentleness of Christ. Amen. Gentleness. It is Christ-like to be gentle. 
It is what? It is Christ-like to be gentle. So all you Christians say, I'm not gentle, oh. I'm not gentle, oh. You are just telling us that uh, God is not your father. That you are another person. Gentleness is the character of our Christ that is in us, who is the hope of glory. And it is what is in us that we can display on earth. So if Christ is gentle and you claim that Christ is in you, then you must display gentleness among men, not just your brethren. Praise God. And don't give me that violence, take it by force. The kingdom of God, to buy by the kingdom. Are you kingdom? Praise God. Hey, take it by force. Don't misplace scripture. Hallelujah. Let me tell your neighbor, be gentle. Don't, there's no excuse. Don't have any excuse. You got to be gentle. To be gentle does not mean to be sluggish. To be gentle does not mean you are foolish. To be gentle is actually you knowing what you are doing. Praise the Lord. Amen. To be gentle allows you not to be furious. Because fury, or, uh, fury genders to uh, rage, rage, anger, and anger, violence, violence, destruction. That, those are the parts that are not God's. Destruction, God doesn't like that one. If God applies destruction, it's because he has been pushed to the wall. Praise God. Hallelujah. If you look at Second Thessalonians, you will see that the people there, some of them, gentleness was part of their character. In First Thessalonians chapter two and verse five to eight. First Thessalonians chapter two and verse five to eight is said for neither at any time used with flattering words, as ye know, nor a cloak of covetousness. God is witness, nor of men sought with glory neither of you nor yet of others when we might have been burdensome as the epistle of Christ but everybody say with me but but we were what are you there we were what but we were gentle among you even as a nurse nourished our children so being affectionate desires of you, we were willing to have impacted unto you not the gospel of God only, but also our own souls, because ye were dear unto us. Praise God. Brethren, if you are dear to each other, you should treat each other like as if you are a nurse. If you want to understand gentleness, you should treat each other as if you are what? A nurse. A nurse. And you know that it is not a it's not women alone that do nurse. Hello. Is it only women that do nurse? No. Uh -huh. Men too do nurse. Men can be nurse. Uh, but we know that there are some funny nurses in town. But the original nurse, say with me, original nurse. Uh -huh. Because there are some nurses, they will be insulting your destiny while you are sick. Praise God. Somebody was telling me how a, a, a doctor gave her a shot that she didn't even know when they even gave her the shot. I remember the time, long time ago, was still a boy and uh, I was uh, ill and then they wanted to give me this injection. It was war. Praise God. And, and you know, then, then they wanted to put it there and I was like, uh, 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 praise God. And, 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 and the lady just slapped my hand. Come on, stay well. This will be breaking your bottom hole. I said, okay, 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 okay. Uh, 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 praise God. I mean, a nurse will not slap you now. Praise God. 
But you will see a nurse, some of the doctors will just say, okay, you know, no, no, just, 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 just give me a pee. Don't look at that thing there, look at it. And if you see, no, 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 before you know, ta, they are giving you, it's gone. Praise God. And after they do that, well, are you okay? Are you okay? No, it's not too much now. And they will be trying to take your mind oh, off what they are doing. And because they believe that pain is of the mind. Pain is of the mind. But other nurses that are ignorant, you ask, go, go, what's wrong with you? This thing will be breaking your bottom. You know? That one is a bad nurse. Praise God. So, and listen. If we want to relate with each other the right way, it is through gentleness you can get the best of us. Because we are created to respond to nurses. That is why people responded to the Lord Jesus Christ. He was called the great physician. Praise God. He knew the art of being a nurse, how to nurse his children. One time he did service and the people were hungry and the disciples were suggesting to him that he should send them away. They are hungry. He said, no. Send them. They have let them, them, ah, them have to eat. Hey, but hey, we don't, to, don't worry. They must eat. That's a nurse. That's vision. Making provision. Praise God. Whether they hear it or not. Praise God. Some of us, because we don't like somebody, the person came to visit you. Even water, you will not give the person. Praise God. You won't give the water. You have food, you will not even give it. Every time your neighbor be gentle. Gentle. If God is going to deal with that person, he will. You leave that person. Give of God's fullness. Let it come out. Praise the Lord. So that was their that was their character. They were gentle. We were gentle among you. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. We were gentle among you. I pray that that will be your portion in Jesus' name. Gentleness is the fruit of the spirit. You and I, we need it. Amen. Amen. The Bible says that a servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men. Second Timothy chapter 2 and verse 24. Be gentle to all men. How many men? Amen. Be gentle to all men. We are called to be gentle. Amen. Amen. I want to encourage us, men, women, you know, all those people, blah, 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 blah. when you are upset, the way your mouth run and your body language does not tell whether you have the spirit of God. All this blame you put on anger is, whether you like it or not, it's not of God. <laughs> Praise God. Calm down and deal with an issue. Amen. You don't understand, ask a question and let the person answer. Praise the Lord. You can avoid argument. You can. I'm not saying by running away from it. Listen and ask a question. Don't talk. The person is talking too much. Let the person talk too much. But just ask a question. An intelligent question. Let the person answer. And then you find your way through. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. When we handle things with gentleness... We are like somebody who is handling a needle that can hurt the person who is knitting something or can hurt somebody else. You have to be careful on both sides. When you are knitting a cloth, whatever, you can hurt yourself and you can hurt somebody. So anybody who is carrying this thing, you should be careful. Careful with people and careful about yourself. Mind what you say to people. Don't think that everybody are the same. Praise God. Look at people and look at their makeup. And then be like a nurse who wants to heal whatever that is wrong with the person. Not somebody who is coming with a judgmental spirit. They don't tell me, say, nah, so you be shy, but anyway, may we talk. That statement alone, you have disqualified yourself as somebody that should talk to me. Praise the Lord. You, you have told me what people said, told you about me, and you just told me, and then you want to come and try. 
why will he not kick that's why we should be careful what we see and how we see sometimes we have a good reason i mean a good uh, a good intention but because we are not gentle with words you are not gentle with your thought you are not gentle with the person you are dealing with you just put the thing down you know some people just come with this let's just say the truth let's just let's just say the truth how you say the truth it matters Praise God. It matters how you say. Don't change it. Don't say to but how you say it, your body language, your your all those things. They they speak. Action speaks louder than what? That's what the scripture says. You will find out that what you are saying is so silent, and your reaction is very loud, and the person can read it clearly. The person is not blind now. And you are wondering why the person is not listening to you. Yeah, it's because of your all the loudness all over. What I talk now? Your body is very loud. I can read it. Praise God. It's just that some people don't know how to explain themselves. Why they did not listen to that person. Praise God. You can tell the person you your your body was so loud that the thing you were saying, I wasn't hearing it. And what's what my boss is saying? Your body is just telling me that I'm stupid. So I cannot hear you. I, I'm telling you, praise God. There are some people that will bring a character, a body language towards you. He's already telling that person that you I'm telling you that you are stupid. But then you are saying that no, it's not as if you don't know what you are doing. No. The person is not listening to that statement you are saying. It is your body action is speaking very loud that he can't even hear what you are saying that's why this thing is of the spirit of God we need to calm down and speak with this this virtue of the Holy Spirit hallelujah and it is not because you spoke loud somebody will hear you it is how you said it can I hear an amen, amen. praise God whoo if you understand so far, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. Then let me try to round it up this way. Hmm. Titus. Titus chapter 3. 1 and 2. Yes. Praise God. Titus chapter 3, 1 and 2 says, Put them in mind to be subject to principalities and powers. Put them in mind. He said to obey magistrates, to be ready to every good work, to speak evil of no man, but to be no brawlers. People would talk anyhow. He said, but be what? Be gentle, showing all meekness unto all men. Be gentle, all men, all men. Not, not some people, all men, so that it can be your lifestyle. Praise God. Hallelujah. All men. So, beloved, gentleness is one of the fruit of... You know, the Bible says... The wisdom of God is gentle. Amen? Do you know that the Bible says that the wisdom of God is gentle? Okay. Let me read the scripture for you. Then we pray. James chapter 3. James chapter 3 and verse 17. The wisdom of God is gentle. That's what I said. James 3 17 he said but the wisdom that is from above is first pure then peaceable then what James 3 17 are you there yeah. but the wisdom of the wisdom that is from above is first what yeah. then what yeah. and then yeah. you see gentle so the, the wisdom of God is so I know what I was saying when I said the wisdom of God is gentle the wisdom of, wisdom of God is not harsh. Hallelujah. That's one of his details. And the Spirit of God is full of this wisdom. 
So it has to be gentle. His approach to men. Remember, the issue of gentleness is to men, to all men. How many men? Okay. Father, mother, sister, auntie, brother, cousin, 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 everybody. Friends, acquaintances, colleagues. Gentleness. Amen. And we have seen the benefits of it. Amen. Amen. It, you, you are able to you are able to get results from men. Hallelujah. You are able to have entrance into people's soul for Christ. Hallelujah. You are the that power of God to break through into what has been fortified. Praise God. What others cannot do, you are able to do it. Praise God. I pray that in the name of Jesus, these fruits will be made manifest in your life. So please, when you are dealing with the world and dealing with that colleague, that friend, that acquaintance, don't tell me the person is not gentle. Me, I cannot be gentle. When you do that, you are as bad as the person that you want to be gentle. So you are the same thing. But if you want to be different, if the person is not gentle, you stay with God and be gentle. It, that is how we allow God to change things. You cannot change any man. God is the one that can change man. So you leave them to God. You remain gentle so that God can give you what it takes to see a man transformed in front of you. Praise the Lord. So that the glory can be given to God, not to you. The way we are doing it at times. Well, after the thing is done, we need we, we are looking for people to accredit accredit us to tell us that ah now you if not be you we talk to her. If not be you we, we like those things. You know, men love praise. But all the glory must be given to God. Can I hear an amen? Your life will be so wonderful among your brethren in jesus name you will excel in life you will soar with the wings of the spirit as you take step into the fruit of the spirit god will manifest the power of his spirit in your life in the name of jesus rise up on your feet god's people lift up your hands to towards heaven and just begin to begin to take delivery the lord i take grace for the fruit of gentleness i take grace go ahead and take that grace and lord i take grace it has already been given you already have this fruit i take grace to take hold on gentleness in the name of jesus christ are you talking to god now go ahead and talk to him talk to him talk to him i take hold i take hold of long suffering from today I take grace to take hold on long suffering. Is somebody praying? I can't hear you, God. People lift up your voice. We are in the presence of God. Begin, Lord. I receive grace to, to give myself to exercise long suffering in the name of Jesus. Grace to take hold of gentleness, to be gentle. I know, Lord, you have given me that spirit from today. I make agreement with the spirit a covenant of the spirit of god to begin to display the fruit of the spirit of gentleness so that i can be a voice in my time is somebody talking to god now lift up your hands towards heaven everybody in jesus precious name we are praying Stretch your hands towards the altar. I want to declare the word of God.